Good morning. I'm going to walk you through how to re-image two different devices into Chromebooks using the Neverware operating system, which is predominantly Chrome OS. The first system I'm going to show you is Acer Aspire 1. And then the second one, I'm going to show you the, the difference between the Acer Aspire 1 and the Acer Travelmate. First thing you do is follow the support video to construct your own Chrome USB boot disk. And then, uh, and we'll turn them on. So once you power on the Acer Aspire 1, push F12 to go into the USB boot options. And then scroll down and select the flash disk. You'll notice that'll take you directly to the Cloud Ready page. Now, conversely, if you were going to try and do the same thing with the Travelmate, you'll find some issues. You have to go into the BIOS and adjust the settings. Here's how. Start by pushing F2 on the boot up, and it'll take you into the BIOS settings. Unless there's an administrator password. If there is an administrator password, then you need to get a hold of that so that you can get into the BIOS settings. The next thing you need to do is you have to check the main settings and make sure that F12 is enabled, which it is, allowing you to boot from the boot disk. Also check here, you have to adjust your legacy to UEFI and you're going to need to adjust the secure boot to disabled. So in order to do that, the first thing you need to do is you'd have to set a supervisory password for your netbook. So I'm just going to set one and then I'll show you in a sec. Okay, so now I've set a supervisory password, and I'm going to go back to the boot sequence. And now I can adjust my secure boot to disabled. Then go to exit, save changes. And now you should be able to F12 directly into Enter your USB and it'll device. take you to the Cloud Ready page. Now while that bias adjustment is being completed, I go back over to my Acer Aspire 1 computer and it's ready to go. I need to put it onto Wi-Fi. So to do that, I just select my network and then enter my password. In the amount of time it took me to enter my password, just push continue. The travel mate is already ready to go, so I'm just going to put that onto the network too. Okay, now it's on the network. Next step, you'd have to enter your Chrome or your Google account, email, and then your password. And once you've entered that in, it will take you to this screen. Now in this screen, it looks like there's no, not much going on. There's a Chrome icon on the bottom left, and you'll see your avatar on the bottom right. Click on your avatar on the bottom right, then select Install Cloud Ready, and you get a new box that pops up, Install Cloud Ready. Install Cloud Ready standalone, and then erase hard drive and install Cloud Ready. It takes about 15 minutes on average. When this is done running, the whole computer will shut down. Then you pull the USB, turn it on, sign in again, uh, signing into Wi Fi, and then your Chrome account, and you're good to go.